Hello everybody, happy Friday. Uh, welcome back to my channel, The Christian Mechanic. Um, this time I'm going to have another torque wrench for you today. This one's going to be a, a Pittsburgh Pro. Uh, this is their half inch drive and this is an older older one. It's a few years old, I'm not sure how old it is, but this was uh, one of the ones that came with the, uh, the tools that I had gotten. Um, now it does come with a uh, conversion chart table. Um, comes with all that kind of stuff here basic instructions on how to adjust the torque um, they, got, they come with this limited 90-day warranty like I said I'm not sure <laughs> this one's old so I don't know how old it actually is it does have an uh, inspection number on the side of it here um, the this is made in Taiwan it's a click style click style torque wrench we're going to go ahead and we're going to open the head up we're going to look inside uh this one here is a 28 tooth ratchet i uh i did try it with a nut so i know it's clicking but i don't know it feels to me like it's a little bit light but i don't know my uh my digital uh torque uh, reader the battery died on it again the uh, the batteries that i bought at harbor freight just are <laughs> They aren't very good. They didn't last very long, so I'm gonna have to go to the store and get an Energizer one. Then I'm, I'll make a video on, on it because somebody asked me about the digital torque meter. So we'll get some weights out and put some weights on it and uh, find out how accurate it actually is, uh, how close it really is. But uh, like I said, we'll just pop these out. These are uh, Phillips screws, two of them. Uh, and that's it. And you got your uh, reverse uh, switch here, and it's uh, it's through it's through it, and it's peened over to hold it onto it. Okay. And here's the uh, here's the plate. I counted the teeth. I was getting uh, a 28 tooth design. Uh, like I said, we're just gonna clean this out. I'm gonna add some uh, lubrication to the inside, and once I go ahead and get new battery for my uh, digital torque uh, meter, I'll. I'll We'll make another video because uh, I said I want to see how accurate this one is. All right, so here's the paw, or the, not the paw. Here's the anvil, and it's solid. There's a uh, no quick release, and you can hear that that detent. It's pretty uh, feels pretty strong. You can hear it. Like I said, you can hear it clicking when I'm when I'm pushing on it. If you guys can hear that or not, but like I said, we're just gonna add some. Uh, some oil to this. I did uh, take this in the parts washer before I had brought it home, just to, uh, so I wasn't sure what this thing was going to look like on the inside. But uh, this thing don't look like it was uh, hardly ever used. Uh, so with that being said, I'm just gonna we're just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna clean it up a little bit and put it right back together. And you got your. Uh, your single poles here they're, they're basically look like the same as an old uh, proto style ratchet just uh there's no two teeth it's just the one one tooth and and then the, the gear itself is pretty they're pretty large gears like i said you're torquing something down this uh torque wrench says it'll do uh let me look on this side here all the way up to 150 pounds it'll do from 10 to 150 pounds that's that's what it says on the side of it I'm not sure what it says on their uh, Harbor Freight on their website, but like I said, this was an older one. Uh, they do have newer ones. I don't know if they uh, changed them up a little bit, the uh, tooth count or anything, if it's a little bit finer or whatnot. I know the uh, the Icon one has a, a finer tooth mechanism in it. So, yeah, like I said, I'm not sure if they uh, upped it maybe to... 48 or whatever for the uh, half inch on the uh, Pittsburgh side of it, but like I said, I'm not real sure. Um, you can always go on their website and take a look at it. Uh, like I said, you're looking inside there, everything <laughs> everything looks brand new, so that, that's that's good because I've never really had this ratchet apart, so it's nice to open it up and uh, not see a big pile of. Uh, rust on the inside of this so I just want to uh, lubricate the uh, springs and stuff just get some oil on them 
just to help uh, prevent the rusting. But yeah, you can uh, you can calibrate these things. You can use uh, some weights and a sh some string. And I've seen people tie, hook it to their uh, lug nut of their car, and they hang the weights off of it. And they could do it. You could do it that way, but you have to measure back. I, it gives you a, a formula. You got to measure back so far, and that's how you do do it with that. But uh, let's me snug these up. Acquired it up a little bit. Yeah, I don't really use a torque wrench too much at work. I may just leave this at home. We got uh, proto ratchets that we, uh, big ones that work that we use for these uh, big machines. Because these, these ones here don't go up. We need stuff that goes up to like 600 foot pounds or whatnot. But So we got, we got bigger ones at work. Uh, like I said, I've never, I've never used this, this one here. So, or used any torque wrench really, uh, small like this. But like I said, if you ever have to adjust your uh, torque wrench or whatever, you just take off this cap right here, take that off and there's a threaded piece in there. And if if it's not, if it's torque is too low, you just give it a few cranks, and put this cap back on and just try it until you get it just right. These are really easy to adjust. Um, I don't know how easy they are to get out of adjustment, but they're easy to put back in adjustment. Um, so that was it. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, uh, anyway, just thank you everybody and just uh, have a blessed day. Thank you.